Uh, say again, can you give me a count, one to ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're loud and clear. Forward cockpit VHF checks out. Roger's turning cameras on. And FYI to both of you, there's whales everywhere. Maybe they'll come and take a look at us. So again, I have the heads-up display, which is 299, and mechanical backup compass, which is 300. Cabin pressure at uh, 147. Fire set. All clear to dive. Roger, thrust coming up, 40, 50 percent, 55. Now I feel some cavitation going on. I'm going to try and dive on this heading. I've got a magnetic heading of 300 degrees here. 50% thrust, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70. Once I get to 70% uh, thrust, which is now, throttles increase to maximum. the surface. We're diving down, making like a whale, so our depth is climbing rather fast. I've got 70 feet and I'm heading down. Things have gone dark in front, Bogey. We're going to be at the bottom in a few seconds. There it is. Depth of 160. I guess we don't know what depth these whales sink, but if there were any in this vicinity right now, the humpback whales are in this vicinity to meet. We have hydrophones on the front of this craft. And it's thought that the males have this song and it's identical. That's the extraordinary thing. They all sing the same identical song. What's extraordinary is that the song um, contains an awful lot of data. If you think of the song as data, data, data. frequency squiggles, low frequency uh, wobbles. Okay, I've got PPO2 at 21.5, so I've cut my uh, O2 flow to one quarter. <laughs> so, to pick up where the whales were, they're in this area and the wonderful thing was to be the first human beings to be down deep in these acoustic channels listening to these magnificent animals presumably singing for a mate. Huh. I can hear it.
that's whale song. Okay, we're gliding back up, nice and gently at 30 degrees. I'm gonna um, do a, a breach here, okay? So we're doing a power breach. 60 degrees coming up. There's a beautiful, beautiful surface. <laughs> oh, a whale's doing a little more elegantly than that, I think. <laughs> Right. Well, if Jacques Cousteau could fly underwater, he'd be here, but he couldn't. We can. <laughs> 